Welcome back Team Forever, back again with another video, and I'm back with another video. I'm reacting to a video that was put in via request by Forever Young. Don't know who that is. But, um, yeah. That's me, by the way, in case y'all didn't know. I wanted to react to the ultimate guide to Blackpink, who is who. So, that's what I'm about to react to. Okay. A few moments later. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Eventually. Is this supposed to be a funny video? Sorry guys, I have to get off of that. So I'm gonna just go to this one. A beginner's guide. I don't know if I'm gonna include the front part of this video, so. A beginner's guide to Blackpink. Who is who? Sorry, y'all. It's commercials. I'm trying to talk over, but I don't know why one just played after another. Jisoo, Jenny, Lisa, and Jisoo. Dang it! Jisoo <laughs> is definitely. How do four girls living in four different countries with only nine songs to their name become the most viewed K-pop group of all time, perform at the largest American music festival, and sign to the same label as Lady Gaga, Selena Gomez, and Maroon 5? It's time to welcome Blackpink to your area on today's Beginner's Guide to Blackpink. This K-pop... <laughs> <laughs> they only got nine songs, so I really Black did Pink react to all these songs. Members. Jisoo, Jimmy, Rose, and Lisa. They debuted in 2016 under the YG Entertainment Company. Only 2016. Just call it YG. Fans of Blackpink are called Blanks. All you have to do is call oh. Black and Pink and you'll get the picture, I think. <laughs> From the very beginning, Blackpink's image has been edgy, cool, and forward thinking. <laughs> picture lots of rapping, lots of dancing, declarations of female power, and hair clips. Lots and lots of hair clips. So, let's meet the no, ladies. Really. Blackpink. Jisoo is the leader, Jisoo ain't she? is the oldest member of Blackpink. Oh. She is also the only one born and raised in South Korea. Jisoo is one of Blackpink's lead vocalists. She's also the, she the only Korean? Member. By far. Jisoo has become well known for her gorgeous face and her childlike. I always say she looked like a Barbie doll. She's one of the groups designated visuals. Which yeah. just means she's hot. I always Jenny say is that. The first member of Blackpink to go solo. Solo, la, 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 la. She was born in South Korea and grew up in New Zealand. You know any cities in New Zealand? Oh. Jimmy's stone cold gaze and fierce rapping. She's cute too. Quickly gave but her the title of a diva. Jisoo so she looks like a Barbie doll. At all. Rose's smoky voice and hipster chic style Good makes her Rose. the darling of Blackpink. Think Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, but with the best Spotify playlist you've ever heard. Do you want me to? She sound good. I mean, well, not that I'm surprised, because I've listen to all nine of their songs. If you're singing along to the hook of any Blackpink song, you're most likely singing along with main vocalist Rose. Rose. Rose was born in New Zealand, but raised in Australia among the kangaroos. Good eye, Mike. Lisa is the youngest member of Blackpink. But you never guessed it if you saw her on Whoa. stage. <laughs> Get it, Lisa. It's just like acting 101. You never guessed it if you saw her on stage. <laughs> Her otherworldly dancing abilities have earned La Lisa international clout. <laughs> <laughs> that word. All around the world are obsessed with this girl. Who is she? What is she doing? Oh my god, I love her. She's so cute. Oh, so I'm not the only one. The way she can spit bars, it's like her and Jenny are a present day salt and pepper. Pig. I would say her and Jay Sue, or however you say her name. Oh. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Lisa is from Thailand. Really? If you haven't caught on already, Blackpink is the revolution. Blackpink has over 20 million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> Oprah doesn't even have that many. They're the highest charting female K-pop act on the US Billboard charts. And they're going to Coachella in like a week. How do they do all of that with literally nine songs? Blackpink's rise they are to great. Fame can be traced back to three main factors. First is their pre-debut hype. Before Blackpink became Blackpink, they were Jisoo, Jenny, Rose, and Lisa. Four young trainees under That's them? entertainment. In K-pop, becoming a trainee is similar to signing a contract with a Hollywood studio. 
in both situations you first pass an audition then your company keeps you on these guys who created this video a1 like thank y'all dancing public speaking and twerking <laughs> get it lisa then if your company finds a good fit for you, they will debut you to the public as an artist or group. Back in the golden age of Hollywood, the biggest studios were MGM, Paramount, Warner Bros. In modern day K-pop, however, the big entertainment companies are SM, JYP, and YG. They're also known as the Big Three. The Big Three! The Big Three! Lord have mercy. <laughs> A major reason for Blackpink's <laughs> early popularity was the grand mythology of YG and his girl groups. YG's first big girl group was 2NE1. They were a majorly popular group that became known around the world. What's the name of the group again? 2NE1. Uh, Take a look. Blackpink in the area. Who was gonna follow up that? Therefore, Blackpink was entering a sacred space by even debuting. The second reason for Blackpink's success is Teddy Park. The in-house producer at YG named Teddy Park has helped to create all of Blackpink's nine songs. Boom by on, Whistle, Playing With Fire, Stay, As If It's Your Last, Do 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 Do, Forever Young, Really, and See You Later. As well as all of their oh. new songs. Kill This Love, Don't Know What To Do, Kick It, and Hope Not. And let's not forget about I haven't reacted to all these songs. songs. Having one lead producer helps give Blackpink's music a distinct color and vibe. You know it's a Blackpink song with a the first five seconds of turning on the radio, or else they're not on the radio that day. Okay. <laughs> Their music videos are also extremely high budget. Like, extremely. All of this order creates a Blackpink universe, kept vacuum sealed. So they're like the Beyonce of Korea, or of Asia, period. Turned these four trainees into untouchable icons. Finally, each member of Blackpink was handpicked and carefully balanced so that each one has a reason to shine. The small number of members and their distinct talents and personalities have given each one international first name recognition. This means that if I say Blackpink, chances are a fan will picture more than just a group. They'll picture individuals, moments, and movements. What makes this group so special is how these women and their fans buy into their own hype. Girl groups don't usually find the success that boy groups seem to have so easily. They face sexism, ageism, and the overwhelming pressure to measure up to a million different unrealistic standards. But Blackpink has broken the mold by recruiting a large fan base of mostly women. Women who want to see pop stars that have a voice and a vision, not just a pretty Smile. Well, I'm a blink, and I'm a man. <laughs> uh, why do we love these girls so much? I think the answer is clear. <laughs> so, what's all the hype about, right? No. Since I think it's in the pudding. I already know what the <laughs> hype is watching. about. They're great. I hope you learned something about Blackpink. Blackpink are the goats. Please share this with someone who doesn't know that much about Blackpink, because we want to introduce the world to our favorite girls. I'm gonna end it right there because I'm assuming that it's done. Um, I'm glad I watched a video. I don't know if I'm gonna include the first part of this video where I started reacting to another group, another video, and I thought it was serious. I thought it was gonna be informative like that one was, like the one that I just reacted to was, but it wasn't at all. It was very, very silly and goofy and I just, I turned it off because I was really annoyed. But I don't know if I'm gonna include that in this video so y'all might not have any idea what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, Blackpink are the GOAT. There we go. I'm a blink for sure. And I'm not getting a lot of requests for Blackpink videos. So I don't know why y'all stopped. And apparently I haven't reacted to all nine of their songs. I really thought I did. But I guess I reacted to seven. Because I know I reacted to four in one video. And I think I reacted to three in another. So I'm missing two of their songs, I think. But uh, yeah. Uh, I love this group. I love them. Uh, Jinsu, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but she really looks like a Barbie doll. I say that in every single video, and they just said the same thing, that she's basically the, uh, a visual or something. I don't know. Uh, I didn't know I was the only one that was obsessed with Lisa, but I am. Oh, Lisa? Oh my gosh. Let me tell you. But, um, yeah. Other than that, and Rosé. Rosé. I like Rosé. And the other one, Jenny. I like all four of them. Really, I, I didn't want to just talk about those two and not mention Jenny and Rose. I like them. I love them all. I wish, wish I saw them in, at Coachella. Wish I did. Like, all of these songs are great. Love. I don't know what else to say, y'all. Be sure to click the videos that have just appeared over my face. See more videos from me. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video all from social media. Be sure to check out the Patreon link in the info box down below if you want to send some extra support my way. <sighs> Catch you later. Boom, bye, yeah.